Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is family. And before we get into today's lesson, we are going to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is very important to show that we are responsible boys and girls and staying safe from coronavirus. Also, don't forget to dry your hands before you touch anything else. Well done. Our lesson for today is all about even and odd numbers and ordinal numbers. Let's take a look at our first exercise on page 12. On page 12, we are going to be doing some counting, but in a different way. Here, we can see that we have our number line from 1 to 50. Now, I know you already know how to count from 1 to 50 because we have been doing this for a little while. But today, instead of just counting, we are going to color all the even numbers from 1 to 30 in green on the table. And then we're also going to color all the odd numbers from 1 to 20 in the table as well. But we're not going to color them the same color. All your even numbers are going to be green and then all your odd numbers are going to be red. I'm going to help you identify when a number is an even number or when a number is an odd number. Let's take a look at the board. Now on the board, you can see that we have numbers from one up to, from zero up to nine. Now the trick with even numbers is any number that ends with zero, two, four, six or eight is an even number. For example, the number 12 is an even number because it ends with a two and we have our two there. The number 16 is an even number because it ends with a six and we have our six there. So remember, you are going to color all your even numbers from 1 to 30 in green. And now we're going to talk about the odd numbers. Now any number that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 is an odd number. That means a number like hmm, 11 is an odd number because it ends with a 1. And a number like 19 is an odd number because it ends with a nine. So you are going to do this exercise by yourselves. Make sure you check what is an even number and what is an odd number before you color them in. Don't try and do odd and even, odd and even, just in case you might get it wrong. So first start with your even numbers up to 30 and then you do your odd numbers up to 20. Let's look at the second part of our exercise for today. Let's take a look at our booklets. We are now being asked to complete the table below. In the middle of this table, we have numbers. We have 27, 38, 16, and 43. It is asking us to complete the table of the numbers before 
and the numbers after. Now I'm going to help you to identify the numbers before and the numbers after. Let's take a look at the board. As you can see, we have all our numbers around our beautiful board and we want to use them to show what number is before and what number is after. Now before, if we're standing as numbers, let me stand this way. Before, as we're standing with numbers, before is in front. So if I'm standing here, it is the number in front of me. So we are going to try and identify the numbers before certain numbers. If I say to you, what is the number standing in front of three? You are going to say it is, well done, it is two. Two is before Sorry, three. <laughs> three is before two. And that is the answer. If I say, what is the number before nine? You are going to say, well done, that it is nine. Eight is in front of nine. So we say eight is before nine. What if I say the number before 15? Good job. It is 14. The number in front or before 15 is 14. Now we're going to talk about the numbers after. The numbers after mean that we are talking about the numbers standing behind our number. So if I were to say, what is the number after or behind five? Your answer would be, well done, it is six. Good job. And what if I say, what is the number before, or rather, after 10? After, which means behind 10. Well done. Our answer is 11. So remember, boys and girls, that before means in front, and then after means behind. Okay, let's now take a look at the last part of our exercise. On our exercise, we're now being asked to write these number names. Not just the number, the number is already there. We want the name of the number. Now, I'm not going to give you the answers, but we're going to practice counting and reading the numbers that I have on these flashcards. As you can see on the flashcards, we have our numbers and we're going to count and read them together. Are we ready? Wonderful. Let's go. One, two, Three, very good grade twos, four, oopsies, <laughs> let's go, five, very good, six, wonderful, keep going grade twos, you are doing very well, these cards don't want to separate. <laughs> Seven, well done. Let's keep going. Eight, very good. Nine, mm -hmm. and the last one together is ten. 
Or should we keep going? I think we can keep going. Let's continue. Eleven. Very good. Twelve. Well done. Thirteen. Very good. Keep going, grade twos. So you're doing well. Let's read this one. Fourteen. Yes. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Yes. Seventeen. Can you see how it's spelled? Very good. Let's keep going. We are almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Eighteen. Can you see how this one is spelled as well? Very good. Nineteen. And the last big card that we have is... 20! <laughs> if you made it up to the end, well done. I'm very, very proud of you. So I would like you to please make sure that when you are answering, you answer correctly. Check the spellings of the number names before you say you are done with your exercise. And I will see you just now. So quickly do your work so we can do more fun things together. Our last exercise for today will be found on page 13. On page 13, we are dealing with ordinal numbers, which means the order that they have been put in. We are going to also do it with some days of the week. As you can see from the pictures below the table, we have some activities that are happening on different days. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. On these days, there are many different things that are happening. And we are going to fill in the days for each and every one. Let us look at the word box. In the word box, we have netball, plays, meets, jumps, swimming, Soccer, works, and gives. Before we continue, we want to first read these words together so that we'll be able to answer the questions. Let's read this one together. Sunday, Saturday, very good, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. Well done. Let's do them again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> so we are now going to find out what happens on those different days. Let's turn back to our exercise. For our exercise, we have ordinal numbers, which means we have to put everything together in an order. Let's read the first sentence. It says, 
On Monday, Mary plays dash. Let's take a look at Monday. On Monday, you can see there is a little girl and she's playing with a ball. Now, if we look at what she's doing and look at our table, we are going to see that the word that best fits the activity is netball. So, I'd like you to write the word netball. That is the first thing that happens on Monday. Did you get that one correct? Well done, grade twos. Let's move to number two. It says, let's read together. On Tuesday, Pedro plays dash. Let's look at Tuesday. You can see that Pedro has a ball and it looks like he's kicking that ball. Let's take a look at what type of word would best describe what Pedro does on Tuesday. The word we are looking for here is soccer. So please may you write the word soccer. You're doing well grade twos. Let's now move to number three. Let's read it together. On Saturday, Lily dash with Bridget. Let's take a look on Saturday. We can see two girls and it seems like they are together and shaking hands. Now remember boys and girls, during coronavirus times, we are not allowed to touch each other. So here, I think this was before coronavirus, where you were able to greet someone with a handshake. Let's see the word that best describes what they are doing. It is not netball because we have used the word netball. And that was our first word. Our second word was soccer. The word that best describes what's happening is meets. Did you get that one correct? Well done, grade twos. So please write the word meets. Remember grade twos, it's very important during this time not to shake hands with someone when you're greeting them. Instead, you can wave or you can use the elbow touch. Let's now look at the next one. Number four. Number four says, on Sunday, Susan dash in the garden. Let's take a look at Sunday. Sunday, we can see someone in the garden and they look like they are very busy. Which word would best describe what's happening to complete the sentence? We cannot use netball because that was the first word we used. We cannot use soccer because that was the second word we used. And we cannot use the word meets because that was the third word we used. The word we are looking for here is the word works. If you got that one correct, good job grade twos, well done. Please write the word works. Very good. Now let us move on to number five. Number five says, on Friday, Josh goes dash. Let's take a look at Friday. Friday, we have someone who looks like they're in a pool and they are moving their arms and legs. We cannot use the word netball because it was the first word we used. We cannot use the word soccer because that was the second word we used. We cannot use the word meets because that was the third word we used. And we cannot use the word works because that was the fourth word we used. 
The best words that we can use to complete the sentence in order is the word swimming. May you please write the word swimming. If you managed to get this one correct, good job! Well done! The rest you are going to be doing by yourselves and I know that you're going to enjoy yourselves. What do you do on these days? I wonder as well. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Remember grade twos, make sure you finish all the exercises that we do together. And at the end of all the exercises, you must sanitize your hands. It is very important for us to sanitize so that we become responsible boys and girls and stay safe from coronavirus. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I've not seen my friend today. Sashi, where are you? Oh, there he is. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> How are you? That's good. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say goodbye.